The paper cup was invented around the turn of the 20th century to stop the spread of disease. It's a hygienic way to quench your thirst or to get your morning copper. The lining of plastic or wax keeps it watertight, preventing any nasty leaks. And this concept continues to hold water. Anyone for coffee? With paper cups, you can have it and go. They start with paper that has a thin plastic coating. It unrolls into a printer that's as long as a bowling lane. The paper weaves through the printer in a continuous ribbon. As printing cylinders at each station layer an image onto the paper, one colour at a time. When the image is complete, a rotary die cuts the paper into a flat. The dimensions of the flat vary depending on the size of the cup being made. Each flat will eventually be a paper cup. They land on a conveyor. A computerized system counts the flats and divides them into stacks of 200. The flats drop into an elevator stacker. It piles them one on top of the other so they can be easily collected by workers. They load them into another conveyor in a different part of the factory. It moves the flats in a vibrating shuffle up into the cup machine. Meanwhile, a roll of paper winds into the other side of that machine where a die punches out bottoms for the paper cups. This leaves a long strip of scrap paper which gets sucked away for recycling. A device grabs the flats and relays them to a carousel. Now the paper cup takes shape. Mechanical jaws wrap each flat around a mandrel and a heat gun seals the seam. And now you have a paper cup with no bottom. Its life will surely be empty without one. So that goes on next. Bottoms are shoved into the cups and heat sealed in place by melting the plastic backing on the unprinted side of the paper. Then cups fall down a chute to the next operation. This one will give the cups a rim, allowing you to take a sip without spilling. A hot tool curls the edge of each cup into a rim. Then a vacuum sucks each cup into ductwork overhead. Each piece of ductwork comes from a different production line. There are big cups and small cups, all travelling to the packing department where they land in stacking tubes. A counter keeps a running tally on the paper cups and portions them out. The stacks of cups slide into a curtain of plastic. Hot jaws seal the plastic wrap around the stack. So now they're stacked, wrapped and ready to be packed. Meanwhile, over in the testing department, the kettle is on, but this is no coffee break. They've pulled some cups off the production line to check for leaks. A mirror below reflects the situation. But leaks are one in a million, so they've made one leak deliberately to demonstrate for our camera. In the case of a real leak, they stop production and follow the paper trail, so to speak, until they determine the problem. It takes about a minute to transform pieces of paper into a cup. So, whether it's for mineral water, latte, or a drop of Earl Grey, the paper cup, there's so much in it. <laughs>